let's learn about insulators okay your insulators are another major applications of your dielectrics okay so what is an insulator we know insulator is something that does not conduct electricity okay so it does not have free electrons or does not have free charge carriers which can conduct electricity okay so these are characterized by your high band gap okay or large band gap because of this large band gap your electrons do not have sufficient energy to go from valence to conduction band okay however if you are going to apply large amount of electric field then they are indeed going to be able to cross into the conduction band okay when that happens when that large amount of energy is available in terms of a electric field then these electrons they break free okay now these electrons they gain huge amount of kinetic energy okay they collide with each other they collide with the other immobile ions and large amount of heat is produced okay because of this heat your insulator basically melts away or is destroyed okay it is not much usable and it becomes a conductor okay so this breakdown of insulator and becoming a conductor is known as your dielectric breakdown okay so your insulator should not be going into a dielectric breakdown or in other words your insulator should be having a high dielectric strength okay what is your dielectric strength your dielectric strength is the maximum electric field that your insulator can be without going into a dielectric breakdown okay so if you are having a high dielectric strength then your insulator can be a large amount of electric field and still work as a insulator okay we want our insulator to never become a conductor because the because the only purpose of your insulator is to support and to separate conductors okay so if you have a conductor you want to protect it from everyday wear and tear you want to protect it from humidity from water what you do is you apply a insulator over it okay now if this insulator in itself becomes a conductor or if this insulator breaks down then you have this thing becoming a conductor as a result of which your current can flow into the insulator okay it can give you a shock okay another reason why you use a insulator is to separate conductors okay so if you have two conductors and you want that no current should flow into each other then you are going to insulate them so that there are no cross connections okay again if this insulator breaks down then there are going to be cross connections which are going to be harmful okay so the basic reason of having a insulator is to support and separate conductors okay and your conductors are characterized by their dielectric strength and we want them to have high dielectric strength okay only then they would be able to withstand the current or the electric field which is present in your conductors okay another important characteristic of your insulator is dielectric loss okay so what is your dielectric loss this is the amount of electrical energy that is lost as heat okay so it is the amount of electrical energy that is lost as